super heavy large part machine and that's exactly what this machine is capable of. I'm here in Bielefeld at one of the Starag Group's factories and I'm going to take you on a quick tour and show you the ins and outs of this monster. Now let's start with the table. Now this is a massive 11 metres in diameter and can take a whopping 300 tonnes. And when it has that kind of weight on it, it can still rotate at 20 revolutions per minute. And their head technology is incredible. All assembled and made here in Bielefeld. This particular head, 100 kilowatts uh, and 7,500 newton metres of torque. Now there's over 250 versions of heads available within the range to machine all kinds of applications. Um, you can not only mill with these machines, but you can also turn and grind as well. Now this machine has 13 metres in the y-axis, it has 14 metres in the x-axis and the RAM combined with the w-axis can achieve 8.5 metres of travel. It's massive! the frame what about the construction well these columns here are huge they have hydrostatic guideways throughout this machine and on the table as well the ball screws are massive that drive the w-axis up and down that's not a leak there with that oil that's recirculating around the whole machine and the cross rail itself weighs 90 tons and it has a rack and pinion on there as well to give you the most optimum in accuracy and performance now it's not only tools you'll change on this machine, you'll change the heads as well and this is where the head changer unit is here. It means you can do all kinds of machining applications. It happens in this cabin here, you've got great visibility of the working area. There's cameras throughout the machine which you can actually see on this 32 inch screen. With the high value parts that you're making on a machine like this, you've got to make sure the guys that are running it are comfortable. And if you're feeling really brave, you can go right to the top of this machine by using the spiral staircase. Now when you get to the top here, it's 16 metres high, would you believe? This machine's going to be installed into a company that's operating in the wind energy industry. Hopefully, we'll get a chance when it does go in to see it in action. 